and welcome back to my sewing vlog at the Seaside Sewist. Autumn sewing plans. Autumn, are we actually saying that? I'm not going to lie, I do love the colder months. I was born in November so I'm a winter baby and I absolutely love... It's raining outside. I don't love the rain, I love it when I'm inside. But I love coming in on a night, drawing the curtains, having a hot bath, lighting the candles, under the blankets with a cup of tea. I'm all for that. So I am happy that we are in this season now. So I'm not going to do a September plans, an October plans, a November plan, a December plan. I'm going to do an autumn plans video to cover September and October and then a winter plans to do me probably November, December, January. A um, couple of reasons for that. Um, I work in retail and the run up to Christmas until about the end of November is pretty mental. So um, that being one of them and then the second reason is my Etsy shop gets busier towards Christmas so any of my spare time really I need to concentrate on making orders rather than doing YouTube videos so you've got you will have other ones in there like um, the fabric haul or so Haley Jane unboxing that sort of thing but I thought I'd do an autumn plans now a few of my early autumn plans are going to be things that I'm still on with from August which some carry on into the autumn but a lot of them don't so the one that I'm on with which I did a lot of sewing on yesterday is the I am Irma um, shirt and dress now this is part of a blog of, for the Minerva Ambassador team that I am part of. So I was gifted the pattern and I've got a ton of stuff down here. The pattern and the fabric. So the fabric is one of the Minerva exclusive fabrics. Um, and I'm quite well on with that but I'm just going to show you the fabric so it is this I think it's called candy confetti and it's like on a black background with colourful confetti bits on really now I'm not sure whether I'm gonna like this or not so just done the, the normal sleeves I, can, I think I'll probably get that finished today. Um, I'll put it back in its project bag. So it is quite an oversized pattern and I have made, or I am making, the smallest one possible. There's two variations, well there's quite a few variations actually, so there's the dress with that just has normal sleeves and then there is a shirt pattern that has balloon sleeves or bishop sleeves or normal sleeves so I'm doing the shirt with the normal sleeves and this goes from French sizes 36 to 46 so 36 being a bust of 32 and a quarter waist of 24 and a half and a hip of 34 and 5 eighths and the biggest going to a size 46 which is a bust of 40 and 1 eighth a waist of 32 and a quarter and a hip of 42 and a half um, but when I looked at the finished garment measurements the bust says it's 44 and a half which is quite a lot of ease um, so I think even the smallest one is going to be too oversized for me but I'm very surprised at how quickly this is coming together um, 
there's a lot you actually start with sewing the button plackets which I was a bit daunted by I thought oh, I can't have something easy like putting the shoulder seams together or whatever but it's got a yoke as well and it's it's a quite a satisfying make and it's come together quite quickly so that is something that I'm wanting to finish I'm really sorry about the noise it's absolutely pouring down outside And I don't know what that was. So that is my first plan. So pop that away and carry on with that later. My next plan is again something that I am on with, and this is um, a dress. I've just realised this is a surprise. Um, it's so over at dress, I'm not going to tell you which one. It's out of the new Summer Dreaming ebook, um, which I don't think is new, sorry, it's quite old. And it's in this So Haley Jane fabric. Um, and it's got a shearing element. So I was supposed to do this. This was the. July fabric um, and I just didn't get around to doing it so it's all cut out I've just I've got the pattern pieces in the back there and um, so I want to finish that and that is very summery so unless we get a bit of an Indian summer that will not be getting warm this year but it's all cut out and I want to finish it so that is another plan but it's part of like what I made with my so Hidden Jane box series so I don't want to give away what the item that I'm making is yet. So my next plan is one that I've been doing for quite a while. So it's the Clarendon Cables Jumper by Lottie and Albert. So I've actually just I've nearly finished one sleeve and now I know what I'm doing with the cabling it'll be quite easy to then get the other sleeve finished and then the bodice bit so i'm going to work on that on a night under a lovely cozy blanket with a cup of tea so i've got that one that i'm getting on with um yep i nearly well i had a bit of a nightmare yesterday i and I don't think I've got the, the pattern with me. I'll put a picture of the pattern in. I got this pattern free with a sewing magazine ages ago. And I wanted to make a woven wrap dress that would carry me into the autumn. So with a pair of tights and a pair of boots. So I was doing this as part of the Minerva Ambassador team. Cut all the pieces out and then realised that there was a whole sheet of pattern missing. So I emailed Simplicity, because it's a Simplicity pattern. So they got back to me really quickly and said, it's out of print, there's none left. Um, would you like to choose a current pattern off our website and we'll post it out to you, free of charge? Which I thought was fantastic because I got the pattern probably a couple of years ago as part of a magazine pack so I went on the website and I chose another woven wrap dress pan and they are going to send that out to me so when that arrives I will show you so that wrap dress is going to be made in this um, exclusive Minerva fabric which I think is just absolutely gorgeous to take you just into into the winter but with just with it's quite bright as well so it's on a black background with all these dark pink and light pink and blue flowers running through it so i think that'll make a lovely wrap dress it's got quite a lot of drape 
and I just think it'll be gorgeous so I will wait for that fire, not the fabric, the pattern to come through but it, it turned out to be quite a, a frustrating afternoon the postman didn't knock on my door I was in all day so he mustn't have knocked because I had a card through with two parcels on one of them being my So Haley Jane box and now for two days Royal Mail are on strike so I can't go and pick my So Haley Jane box up until Saturday so I was going to do a So Haley Jane unboxing with these vlogs that I'm doing so that was quite annoying then I went to cut that pattern out and the pattern pieces were missing and it was just one of those um, afternoons yesterday but I did manage to get quite a bit of sewing do done so that was fine one of the lovely things that I did actually get with this fabric was Minerva have started doing their own sewing labels so it's got their like pastel logo on of an M and then on the back it says hashtag Minerva Maker Minerva Maker? Yep, Minerva Maker and I thought oh that is just a lovely little addition there I love being part of the Minerva blogger team and I've got quite a lot of their projects on the go at the minute so that is going to be another project if I I'll put um, I'll insert a picture here of the, the new pattern that I've chose um, and let me know if you've made it and if there's any tips or anything up there. So the next project that I am going to be working on is again another Minerva make and that's part of the Minerva ambassador team which I won't be making because I can't get the envelope thing open okay um, and this is like a double whammy of a of a blog so we were gifted a vogue pattern and some fabric and we've got to review the pattern separately and the fabric so I chose this pattern which is the Vogue V9100 and it's like a fitted, a fitted uh, dress with an invisible zip which I have done recently and I nailed it first time believe it or not I was over the moon so this is the pattern and this is all to do with a challenge that Minerva are running throughout September called hashtag sewn with Vogue where you sew up a Vogue pattern so this has to be done in September this one uh, so that's the pattern and then the fabric again I've got it all cut out so I'll just try and show you a skirt piece it's just all coming out now um, I'll show you a bodice piece so this is the fabric that I'm using and it's a broad cloth so it's on like a, a blue background with orange red and white flowers all over it and this piece here is the bodice side front um, it does have quite a lot of pieces um, but I've, I've just finished making a similar style dress and even though that's got quite a lot of pieces it does sew up quite quickly so we've got that one to do and this runs from a size 6 to a size 22 so I think I have cut out the size 10 I think I've cut out the size 10 in that so that is another project to do um, 
what else there'll be a couple of so Haley jane makes in there as well um i'm just looking at my notes and i'm kind of gonna start a new series called so my stash where i literally marry up a piece of fabric that i've got and a pattern that i already have um and try and get through my stash a bit that way um i oh another thing actually i did put a shout out on instagram recently for anyone like myself i've never been to any sewing meetup i don't i've never met up with any sewing friends from instagram or youtube and I put a shout out on there asking if anybody would like to go to the Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show in November. For people like myself who don't have anybody else to go with, if you'd like to meet up and we'll spend the day, the Thursday the 17th um, at the Knitting and Stitching Show in Harrogate and then go for a meal at the end in the Ivy in Harrogate. So if anybody is interested, there's only a couple of us going at the minute. I'm not bothered if I only go with one other person. It means I have made another friend and so are they. Um, if nobody had answered my call out, I would have just gone by myself because I'm going regardless. If anybody else goes or not, I'm going to go on my own. Um, but anybody who would like to meet up for the day um, and connect with some like-minded people and then go out for a lovely meal on the night um, just either put a note in the comments below or I will put my Instagram here anyone who wants to just give me a private message um, and I'll add you to the Instagram group that we've got going on at the minute so I think that would just be a lovely way to meet people as well. It is a lot harder when you're an adult to kind of invite yourself into somebody else's group of friends. I know there are quite a few little groups that know each other and I think it's a little bit awkward to say, oh, can I tag along with your, with your little group of friends? So let's make our own group. So I'd love for anybody to contact me about that. I think that is my plans for now. So instead of doing, as I say, September and October plans, I might then come on and do a bit of a, a catch up video of where I'm at with those makes that I've set myself there. I think there's plenty to be getting on with. So have you made any of these patterns? Have you got any of these fabrics? Is there anything that you want to ask? I was going to actually ask, does anybody want me to do a vlog that is getting to know me where you literally can ask any questions you want and I can answer your questions, whether they're sewing related, life related, holiday related, food related, anything just put some comments um, in the description box below so that is it for this video please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this and please subscribe i'm nearly at 700 followers now which is absolutely amazing um yeah so until next time bye